Buffalo at Washington. The Bills haven't quite been firing on all cylinders. Josh Allen has got the lowest percentage of passes attempted 20 yards or more downfield in the league, which is wild when you think of Josh Allen pushing the ball downfield. Are you expecting a kind of a bounce back? And is this a matchup that you think could turn into a bit of a shootout? I think part of that is because week one against the Jets, the Jets have had his number for the last few matchups and he's really struggled against them. And then week two against the Raiders, I'm just not sure he really needed to put his foot down and stuff. <laughs> so I think there's definitely a case of Josh Allen is slowly turning it on and we might see it as and when. Uh, I'd be fine playing him in DFS, obviously in redraft or any kind of format like that, you're going to do that. The commander's big weakness really is in the passing game against the slot receiver. Over the last two games, they've given up the fourth most fancy points to the position. And it'll be interesting to see how the Bills decide to try and attack that weakness. Because in week one, Stefan Diggs played 47% of his snaps in the slot. Last week, it dropped out like 20% against the Raiders. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Diggs cycling more in the slot than normal. Dalton Kincaid or Dawson Knox, they've both played plenty of snaps from there. So you can probably tell yourself enough of the story to play Dalton Kincaid. I mean, he's had back-to-back -back games with four-plus receptions. Um, you know, he had five receptions last week against Raiders. And they seem to be using him further downfield than they were against the Jets when his ADOT was incredibly low. So they're getting him involved in ways that are more interesting. So you can start pretty much all of your bills. I mean, James Cook looks great. Yes, he's not getting the goal line work, but you know, sooner or later he's going to break one of those big runs. And Josh Allen is using him in the passing game, so we can survive that. In terms of the commanders, Brian Robinson, you know, is probably the surprise of the season at the position. He's seen the ninth largest opportunity share amongst all running backs at 75%. Um, he's at 42.5 PPR points. You know, the Bills might not be like the most ideal matchup, for the commanders in terms of a Russian defense, but they've allowed five yards per carry to running back so far, so it's not like you can't run on them. I'm a little bit concerned about Jahan Dotson, though. His air yards per target last year it was 13.9. This year, 7.6. I don't know if this is an Eric B. Enemy thing, and he's just trying to use him closer to the line of scrimmage to make sure that he gets those catches, but he's certainly not getting those big explosive plays that we were loving last year. Uh, tight end, if Logan Thomas misses out with concussion, I've no interest in either John Bates or Cole Turner because they completely split the role last week. Yeah, I, I think touching on the John Dotson piece there, I you know, I'm I'm the biggest John Dotson fan. I came into the season expecting this Washington offense to basically be two two pieces. I expected it to be Terry McLaurin and John Dotson and, and nothing else. I didn't expect any of the peripheral receivers, tight ends to be a, a factor in the passing game. But you can see on the screen there, no Washington wide receiver was over a 17.6% target share. Like this offense, and Sam Howell, credit to him, has done a phenomenal job spreading the ball around the field. So really excited on what he is. The one thing I think James Cook, I think he's he's sneaky good at the moment. I don't think people are um, realizing how good he's been because he's not been scoring touchdowns. And yes, he's... Um, you know, not going to get a huge amount of touchdowns because he seems to be taken off the field inside the 10. But we're going to start to see him punch a few in from distance. And the fact that he's getting all that receiving work, you can see on the screen here, he's he's putting up the yards after contact. I'm really excited about what he could be as the Bills are in slightly more, you know, traditional, competent games. Because I think you can throw that Jets match up after the Rodgers injury. It was wild. And I think last week, they, as you said, they basically didn't need to produce. But I love the point about Brian Robinson as well for Dynasty. I think he's he's that volume-based RB2. You've got to hold your nose, but I think he's a nice little buy because I, I think people don't quite realise how good some of these guys are producing yet. I think next week, if he has another good week, his price is probably going to double. Mm -hmm.